thank you so much for watching my performance of Countdown by Mitch Markovich. I want to give you a couple of things to look out for and maybe you already know about and you're already working on, but if not, maybe give you something more to practice to help make your performance uh, elevate to the next level. First thing is the first page is a lot harder than it looks because of all of the added embellishments that get added each repeat. You have to really be careful about where your hands are located. For me personally, I play my dynamics at different locations on the drum to help change the tone of the drum depending on what volume I am at. So I play soft at the edge for less tone and I play loud in the center for more tone. This is going to cause a lot of problems as I have to do these sudden changes from loud to soft, whereas I crescendo only to suddenly play soft. So it means a lot in your practice to just take the time to practice that moment where you go from loud to soft and practice physically moving your body so that it doesn't become a surprise to you, the performer, but rather can be a more convincing surprise to the listener. Also work on making sure that you're comfortable playing a flam off of the right hand and off of the left hand, because if one hand is weaker than the other, it's always going to sound uneven when you play through this first page. So focus on making sure your flams are comfortable first before you introduce them into the piece. And the other side is the second page that has all of the paradiddle rudiments that have accents, sometimes in the right place, sometimes in the wrong place. Really focus on creating a nice separation between your accents and your non-accents. As those accents sometimes can sound like a secondary melody over top of what the non-accents are playing. Also be very careful when you change tempos at E to make sure that the eighth note is just as steady as possible. I know practicing tempo changes with a metronome can be really tricky, but with a little bit of practice and a little bit of focus, you can focus on working through uh, what's rehearsal E at 60 beats per minute and feeling the sump divisions comfortably and then transition back to the 104 for the other areas. And then you can practicing, am I able to change tempos without a metronome and it be accurate. So record yourself when you're practicing this section to see if you're actually capable of getting that transition from one tempo to the next as accurately as possible. And the last thing I'll say is within the dynamics and within the accent structure, make sure that you're staying loose because some of these paradiddles at this tempo are either going to be really comfortable for you because you can play them faster or they're going to be a bit of a challenge because you're really not comfortable playing them this fast. I know for me, it's an uncomfortable blend between letting the stick bounce as far as paradiddles are concerned and actually f forcing the second note from the wrist. Ultimately, it's just going to be a matter of comfort and how comfortable you are with paradiddles, but do your best to stay relaxed throughout this piece so that you don't cause any injuries and you don't cause any strain musically as well. So I hope you have found this little rundown to be helpful. I hope it's useful in your practice journey. And ultimately, I wish you all the best as you continue to learn Countdown by Mitch Markovich.